Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Jose. I you're early for the class. So you're exactly in time. Oh uh, yeah, teacher. Okay. I'm great. I'm glad to hear that. Let's see if the the rest of the students are able to to come because I heard that some people are having problems with the Zoom. Good evening. Good evening, Eric. How are you? How how is your TV? Well, what do you say? Sorry. How was your, how is your TV? Ah, well. <laughs> How to say enough? Suficiente? No, como es um, como arruinado, por decirlo así. It's broken? Ah, broken. okay. It's broken. It's broken, so you are not watching TV today. Well, and my nephew's TV. Oh, but, your nephew's TV, okay. But my TV is, is good, okay? Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Probably for Christmas, right? Black November, Black Friday is coming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have money. Sorry. Yeah, but probably Santa Claus. Probably yeah, the miracle. <laughs> Christmas, right? Probably. And I'm fine. Thank for ask. Okay, very good. Bro, we don't know what will happen. Okay, thank you for coming. Noe, Sandra, Cecilia. Uh, we have two Sandra Cecilia. Probably she's in two devices. And Rosa Esmeralda, thank you for coming. Okay, now we are going to finish with section two. Yes. So, good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Noel? Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you. I have a question, teacher. Uh, yes. What is your question? Uh, this picture is in the screen. Uh, the world what is the difference entre actor or actress actor and actress what is the difference uh-huh actor is for male right male actors for men right like for example uh sean connery brad pitt tom cruise they are actors right actors okay. and actress uh-huh Yes. Eh, ¿Verdad que esta semana sería de completar la sección 3 y examen de medio periodo? Exacto. Y el yes. examen de medio periodo es necesario llevar el 80 o un poco más. Mm, creo que el 80, creo que el 80 está, estaría bien. Traten de completarlo todo, ¿verdad? Si tienen algún problema, me pueden decir en este momento. Este, estoy tratando de abrir la plataforma para ver si tienen alguna pregunta de, pero sí lo tienen que completar hoy. Yes, oh, exactly. Okay. okay, so coming back to your question, Noe, so actor is for males, right? And actress is for females, right? Like Jennifer Aniston, Angelina Jolie, Meryl Streep, they are actresses, female, right? Okay, uh, uh, I, I see one video uh, where a uh, actor uh, uh, cry cash. C C A A S T. The cast, the cast uh -huh. members. The cast. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, that it's is the cast, like the, the, the actors and actresses, right? Es decir, también se puede decir así, cast. Yes, the cast or casting. Yeah, the okay. casting for the casting is como audition, right? And the cast is ya que están trabajando en en una producción, verdad? In a movie or in a series. Ah, okay. Yeah. So Thank the you, cast teacher. is el elenco. The cast is el elenco, right? The actors, right? Actresses and actors. Clear, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, before beginning the class for today, because we have a lot, well, no, we don't have a lot of material, but we have some activities. Uh, before doing that, do you have any problem or any question with um, the platform? Because yesterday we were practicing um, with... Yes, teacher. Yes, we were as answering some questions right at the end of the class.
So what is your uh, question? Yeah. The same the same problem I told you yes in, in the part B in the middle and part two, the first one. Uh he'll say uh comedies are a type of movie and we have to add who, that or which. Mm -hmm. I try with it with the three options and now one that was the the midterm the midterm yeah In part two term, um second part two and the first one this one no right completing sentences oh, no. part b part b this one rewriting yeah. sentences uh, yes Okay. Uh, part two and the first one. Comedies are a type of movie. They usually yes. make people laugh. Let's see. Comedies are a type of movie that usually make people laugh. That will be my option. Let's see. Yes, but it's correct. But, well, I I don't know what happened. I I I do it. You can try right now if you want to write to check. Yes. Yeah, you can try right now. Comedies are a type of movies, are a type of movie that usually make people laugh that usually make people laugh you don't write day no and that's what we are going to no. study today eso lo vamos a estudiar ahorita right that is, this is the this is the problem yeah that's the problem you don't write day that they usually no that usually you join two sentences and you uh, make one sentence usually make uh -huh. that usually make people laugh yes good question because that's what we are going to study today comedies are a type of movie which usually make people laugh also which exactly sandra very good perfect so uh, let's see uh thank you for coming walter carla jaime also thank you for being here this is uh the last class for uh, this week right tomorrow no classes right Saturday no classes Sunday no classes so you can rest during the weekend but we are mm -hmm. going to uh, prepare you for Monday right because Monday we will have a little bit of of C, letter C. Okay, let's see. This one, completing sentences. Sí. Uh, one, part, three. part three. It says, complete each sentence with the correct form of the word. You may either add ing or the adjective ed. Just type the adjective, not a complete sentence. I think animated films are fascinated or fascinating people. We already checked this. Fascinating. fascinating. Fascinating, right? Fascinating. We're both interested or interesting? Interested. Interested, interested right? Interested. Let's see. I was surprised or surprising? Surprising. Surprising. Surprise, right? Surprise. Renting yes. a movie is bored or boring? Boring. boring boring right let's see let's let's submit the the questions well i cannot do it i think that i have to do all of it but i i will choose any Tiene que terminar. yes uh -huh. so i will choose any just to check the part two okay let's see you see so we already know ya saben ya saben todo ya saben cómo hacerlo okay ya esto ya lo estudiamos so in the number one is fascinating right 
because we are describing the films, right? We're both interested because we're describing the feeling, right? We feel interested. I was surprised, right? How do I feel? Como me siento? Surprised. And boring, renting a movie is boring. Renting the action, we are describing the action, not the feeling, right? So boring. So you see, it's easy, Rosa, you see? It's just with ing or it is the, the past participles or present participles as adjectives. That was this, this question about them. The rest was just different options, right? Do you have any other questions about the platform? Otra pregunta? No questions? Okay, so we will continue because this is easy. You already know this. It's easy, right? So we are going to uh, have an activity just to finish with movies. I think that on Monday we will finish talking about movies because it's fun to talk about movies. So we are going to guess the movie. We are going to read the following statements and try to guess the movie, actor, or actress. So we are going to read. I guess that you already saw the first one, right? It says, number one, I can't believe I saw it nine times. It's a movie that starts Kate Winslet. It's about an ocean liner which hits an iceberg and sinks. What is this movie about? Titanic. What is that movie? Titanic. Titanic, right? Titanic. Very good. Titanic. Perfect. Let's see the next one. He's the actor who won an Academy Award two years in a row. He got the first Oscar for Philadelphia, and then he won again the very next year for Forrest Gump. Who is this actor? Tom Hanks. Let's see. Yes, Tom Hanks. Perfect. Uh, let's see the next one. I love this movie. It's a comedy about a boy that gets left behind when his family goes on vacation and there are some burglars who try to break into the house. It's hilarious. What movie is this one? Uh, I, I know in Spanish, but not in English. Uh -huh. how, how, what is the name in Spanish? Mi pobre angelito. Mi pobre angelito. Let's see in English is home alone, right? Home alone. Perfect. Let's see the next one. I love this movie. It's a 2012 American 3D live action adventure drama film directed by Ang Lee. It's about a man who tells a novelist about his life story and how at 16, he survives a shipwreck in which his family dies and is stranded in the sea on a lifeboat with a tiger. What is this movie? It's a 2012 American 3D live action adventure. It's a drama. Ya sé cuál es, pero no me, no me acuerdo el nombre. You know that, you know the Me movie. too, me you too. Know also, but you don't remember. The Lion, the something with Lion. The Lion King, no? No. No, let's see. The Life of Pi, Life of Pi, very good. Next one. Oh, that's it, that's the end. Sorry, so you did it very well, even though. Now we are going to review uh, the pronouns. Lo que me estaba preguntando José Ramirez, right? Relative pronouns. Do you know relative pronouns? Yes. You already studied this. Esto es un review. Esto ya lo estudiaron, right? Relative pronouns. What is a, a noun? What is a noun? ¿Qué es un nombre in English? Who knows this? What is a noun? Describe um, thing or person, people. Mm -hmm. Very good. A subject. a subject, exactly. A noun is the name of a person, animals, objects, places, or things. Very good, perfect. What is a pronoun? What is a pronoun? You already, you already know this. What is a pronoun? Um, which the describe 
Uh -huh. uh, the, the noun. Personal I, you. Okay, a pronoun is a word that is used in place of a noun. Lo usamos en lugar de un nombre, el pronombre, ¿verdad? Pronoun, noun. Nombre, pronombre. O sea, lo usamos en lugar. Very good. So those are pronouns. But what is a relative pronoun? Relative pronouns connect a clause or a phrase to either a noun or a pronoun. The clause or phrase modifies uh, the noun that the pronoun connects. El pronombre relativo conecta una cláusula con, o una frase con otra, ¿verdad? Con una, con una oración, ¿ok? So, conecta dos, como lo estaba haciendo a uh, José en, en la, eh, in the platform, que me dijo, entonces no se le escribe date, no, porque las dos oraciones van a unir una. ¿Y cómo lo van a unir? con the relative pronoun, okay? For example, we met the women who owns this hotel. Conocimos a las mujeres que son propietarias de este hotel. ¿Quiénes son propietarias de este hotel? What are the relative pronouns? Who, who, who. whose, which, and that. But today we are going just to study three of them. Who, which, and that. Solo eso vamos a estudiar. Who is for people, right? Replaces subject pronouns yes. like I, she, he, we, they. So who is for people? Which is for objects and animals. And that is used for things and also for people, okay? You can use that for both of them. So we have relative pronouns. Uh, relative pronouns come after the noun, okay? And we have who, whom, whose, that, which, as I already mentioned. They introduce a relative clause. Relative pronouns are used to join or relate two different clauses together by referring to the noun in the previous clause using the pronouns. Unen dos cláusulas juntas y se refieren al nombre en la, pre, en la cláusula previa o en la anterior usando pronombres, okay? So they substitute a noun. For example, let's see, it says, the pen that you gave me writes very well. What is the pronoun here, the relative pronoun? Mm -hmm. and number that. one, that, exactly, uh -huh. that, right? Very good, that. Number two, bring me the letters that the postman left. Where is the pronoun? Relative pronoun, that. That, very good, perfect. Number three, I hate children who bully others. Where is the relative pronoun? Who? Who? Oh, perfect. Number four, dogs know the persons by whom they are treated kindly. Where is the relative pronoun? Oh, whom. Oh. Whom. Perfect. The <laughs> moment which is lost is lost forever. Which, Where is it? Which, 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 which. Which. Exactly. He said he saw me there, which was a lie. Where is the relative pronoun? Which. which. Which, perfect, my brother, who is a doctor, has gone to America. Where is the relative pronoun? Who? Who, perfect. He found what he was looking for. Where is the relative pronoun? What? What? What, yeah, that was difficult, right? Take whichever you like. Where is the relative pronoun? Whichever. Whichever, very good. Whoever wants to come is welcome. Where is the relative pronoun? Who? Whoever, exactly. So as you can see, we have different relative pronouns, but we are going to study only that, who, and which. Solo esos tres vamos a estudiar. Okay? And this information is in, in the platform, right? We have relative clauses. So we have relative pronouns and we have relative clauses, right? For example, he's, he's the actor who or that won two Academy Awards. This is the main clause because we can understand this one independently. Esta la podemos entender independientemente. Esta no. Esta es dependiente porque necesita de esta, ¿verdad? Para tener sentido. So he's the actor who won the Academy Awards. Él, él es el actor quien ganó dos premios de la Academia. That is the meaning of the sentence. It's a movie which or that stars Tom Hanks. 
es una película la cual protagoniza Tom Hanks, la cual, ¿verdad? O que protagoniza Tom Hanks. So you see, this is the main clause, this is the relative clause. This is the relative clause because we have here a relative pronoun. And um, it says here we, we can use relative clauses to join two sentences para unir dos oraciones or to give more information about something para dar más información de algo. For example, I bought a new car, period. It is very fast. Combine these two. I bought a new car that is very fast. Another example, she lives in New York, period. She likes living in New York. Combine these two. She lives in New York, which she likes or that she likes. Okay, that's okay. And we are going to, this is just extra information because we are not going to study this, defining relative clause and non-defining relative clause. Uh, defining relative clause tells uh, which noun we are talking about. Like, for example, I like the woman who lives next door. Uh, if I don't say who lives next door, then we don't know which woman I mean. So this is just extra information. This is, you're going to study this later, okay? This is just an extra information. And the next one is a non-defining relative clause gives us extra information about something. We don't need this information to understand the sentence. I live in London, which has some fantastic parks. So um, a non-defining relative clause is not important because we can, it's extra information. And a defining relative clause, it's important because we need it to understand the question. So, but that is extra information. You're going to study that later. Now we are going to um, practice, okay, with relative clauses or relative pronouns also. Let's see, uh, fill one word in each plan to complete the sentence. Let's see, quien vino primero, Jose Ramirez. Number one, are you there, Jose yeah. Ramirez? <laughs> okay, perfect. It says, it's a movie. Yes. Here, what do I need to write here? It's Which? a movie mm -hmm. that, or which? That, right, right. That stars Kane Winslet. Very good. Jose Ramirez, choose one of your classmates. Escoja uno de sus compañeros para participar. Let me see. The next is Noé Chávez. Noé Chávez, number two. It says, it's about an ocean liner. Hits an iceberg and sinks. What is the relative pronoun that we are going to use there? It's about which. a notion like which, very good. Which it's a it's an it's an object, right? So it's about an ocean liner which hits an iceberg and sinks. Noe Chavez, choose another person. Escoja alguien más, Noe Chavez. Jaime Reyes. Jaime Reyes. Are you there, Jaime Reyes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Number three is he's the actor space won at Academy Award two years in a row. He's uh, who? Very good. He is the actor who won an Academy Award two years in a row. And let's see, number uh, four, choose another person, Jaime Reyes. Hey, Tocayo. Okay, Tocayo, very good. Jaime Hernandez. Number four, there are some burglars, space, try to break into the house. Is work teacher what sorry sorry uh-huh <laughs> no that's okay. that that very good we can use also who right there are some burglars burglars are thieves right ladrones right burglars that try to break into the house very good or who try to break into the house very good perfect so those are just uh clauses and we are going to provide you right now the homework. Uh, ahorita les voy a dar el, la tarea, the homework or the assignment for next week, okay? As you already know, we have different movies and TV series types like drama, science fiction, horror, fantasy, war, comedy, animation, action, and romance, right? So you are going to choose one uh, movie type and you are going to describe it, okay? For example, this would be for Monday, okay? For example, let's see. 
Sandra Cecilia, what is your favorite movie type? Uh, romantic or comedy, maybe. Okay, perfect. Comedy, comedy. Oh, uh, a romantic comedy, right? What is uh, one of the your favorite movies in that genre? Uh, how to lose a man in 10 days. How to lose a man in 10 days. Very good. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to look for information about that movie, okay? You can find different um, different things, right? For example, let's see here, and imdb.com, you can go and find reviews, you can find the cast, you can find a lot of things, right? And for example, I am Sandra Cecilia, and I will look how to lose a guy in 10 days, right? So we are going to talk about this movie, okay? And it says, what is the movie about? It's about a man. His name is Benjamin Barry, and it's an advertising executive and ladies man who, to win a big campaign, bets that he can make a woman fall in love with him in 10 days. And you can um, also here, you can find the cast, right? Top cast. If the cast is Kate Hudson, Matthew McConaughey, Adam Goldberg, and the director is, also you can find the director here, Donald Petrie. Okay, so you give this information if you want, okay? About how to lose a guy in 10 days. And then you give your recommendation. It's a good movie, it's a bad movie, okay? And you say, I like it because it's very funny. It makes me laugh a lot. And if you are relaxed and you, have, you want to have a good time, you can, uh, look, you can watch this movie. I really like it, I really recommend it. If you don't like the movie, you can say it's horrible, don't watch it, okay? Or whatever your opinion is. And also here in this uh, page, imdb.com, you can find different information and user, user reviews, right? For example, then near perfect. So for this one, for this person is perfect, right? And you have a recommendation here. So, so this is a, just an example how you can find information on the internet to do your homework, okay? So you will give me the name of the movie, what the movie is about, the name of the actors or the director, if it is possible, and your okay. opinion. Okay. So this is your homework for Monday, but I want you to include everything that you that we have studied today. For example, uh, relative pronouns, relative clauses, and also synonyms, right? We are going to talk about synonyms right now. For example, we have here, these synonyms, you can use it in your description, right? For example, awful, wonderful, stupid, and strange. For example, for awful, which will be the synonyms for awful in these words that we have here? We have absurd, bizarre, disgusting, dreadful, dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, and weird. Mm, horrible. Awful is horrible, exactly. Awful, horrible. Disgusting. Another, disgusting. Disgusting. Very good, disgusting. Another one? Hmm, terrible. Terrible, very good. And for wonderful, what do we have for wonderful, for synonyms? Fabulous. 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 Weird. 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 Weird is a synonym for? Ah, no, 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 no. Fantastic. Right. Fantastic. Fabulous. Fantastic. Wonderful. Very good. And for Standing. stupid, outstanding. Exactly. And for stupid, dumb. 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 What else? Dumb. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Silly. Silly. Perfect. Silly. And for strange, what do we have for strange? Uh, weird. 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 Bizarre. 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 Uh -huh. Exactly. This uh, weird, unusual, very good. So we have here uh, 
these uh, options, right? So you can use these options also, awful, disgusting, dreadful, horrible, for you to describe uh, the movie, right? Fabulous, it's a fantastic movie, it's marvelous, it's, uh, it's a kind of silly, it's a kind of silly movie. It's bizarre, right? If you are talking about a horror movie, right? It's disgusting, it's dreadful, or it's weird, right? So that's why that's you can uh, bring also pictures if you want to uh, to have a better presentation. So we will have this on Monday, okay? So you will have time to prepare. Okay, now we are going to uh, review a little bit of the pronouns. Let's see here. Oh, this is a this is an example. So you can find this here. This is an example, a movie review. This is the, what you are going to do. What was the movie about? What did you like it about it? What did you not like about it? How was the acting? How would you rate it? So this is, uh, I think that the, the, the letter is kind of small, so I will read it. This review says, we recently saw the movie Chocola. It's a comedy about a mysterious woman who moves to a small French village. She opens up a shop that sells delicious chocolates. The acting is very good. The town mayor is an especially funny character who, and then you start talking and talking and talking, okay? So this will be the answers, or sorry, the questions that you need to answer. Okay, now we are going to finish with relative pronouns, okay? And uh, for people and things. We're going to finish with this. It says, we use relative pronouns to introduce relative clauses, as we already spoke before, right? Relative clauses tell uh, us more about people and things. Let's see. Noe, can you read the, the examples, please? Okay. Uh, Susan Dania is in America, actress who that is well known for her role in the movie Avatar. Super Mario carries a popular game, which that was really seen in um, 1992. Uh -huh. Thank you, Okay, very good. Remember, the year is 1992, right? No, 1992, no, right? 1992, it's okay. So, yes, Soy yes. Saldana is American actress who that is well known. As you can see, we can use both both uh, relative pronouns there. Super Mario Kart is a popular game, which or that, right? We are talking about a thing, right? So it's which. And we have more uh, um, examples, right? Juan Luis Guerra is a great singer. He can play the guitar and the piano. If we combine two of them, it's Juan Luis Guerra is a great singer who that can play the guitar and the piano. So as you can see, we combine two sentences, right? Cardi B is a rapper. She appeared on a reality show. Cardi B is a rapper who appeared in a reality show. And the last one, I want to meet Scarlett Johansson. She's my favorite actress. I want to meet Scarlett Johansson, who is my favorite actress. And also we have a relative pronouns for people and things, right? Which and that, right? For things and animals. And it's the same. We can use it in the same way. For example, the Mona Lisa is an Italian painting. It was painted by Leonardo da Vinci and we joined the two, right? The Mona Lisa is an Italian painting, which that was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. And we can, as you can see, we have more examples there with which or that, okay? So what is a clause? A clause is a part of a sentence that includes at least one subject and one verb, that is a clause. For example, Philippa got married last week. And as we are already mentioned before, we have defining relative clauses and non-defining, right? And it would be very similar, just uh, the meaning is kind of different. We have more examples there, like for, I have a friend whose mom is a doctor. This is the student who won the academic scholarship. And these are non-defining relative clauses, right? My mom, who has been baking for years, made us cupcakes. The flower, which sits on the window pane, is starting to bloom again. 
So we can use, we are not talking about, we are not going to study defining clauses and non-defining clauses. These are just some extra information that I found. So we are just going to focus in relative clauses, okay? And we are going to practice right now about these relative clauses. I think that you can find this in the presentation, a relative pronouns for people and things, right? So we use who for people, right? And also that, right? He's an actor. He's also a director and a producer. He's an actor who that is also a director and producer. And we use which for or that for things. It's a science fiction fantasy. It has become a blockbuster franchise. And if we combine this, it's a science fiction fan fantasy, which that has become a blockbuster franchise. Let's see, Carla Merino, are you there? Yes, teacher. Carla Merino, we use who for people or for things? Who is for people? Very good, very good. And that, we use it for people or for things? That. For that is for things. And for people? Mm. Which? For people which? which? For people which? Which in? Yes, who? In that is for things. Okay. Who is for people or for things? Who? Who is for people. Okay. And which is for people or for things? Uh, for things. For things. Very good. Who is for people? Which is for things? And that? Is for things too. Is for things too. Can I use um, that? Can I use that for people too? Yes. Uh, okay. Who is for people? Uh huh. And that you can use for people and things. Uh huh. And which is for things? Only, right? Only. Okay, very good, very good. Very good, very good explanation, Carla. So who is only for people? Which is mm. only for things? And that is for both, right? Para yes. los dos. That okay. is for both, okay? Very good. We are going to practice now. Let's see, it says combine this sentence using relative pronouns. Ahora quiero que me ayuden ustedes porque como ya saben, ¿verdad? Ya entendieron, you don't have questions. Now we are going to use uh, the pronouns, right? To use, to, to create relative clauses. Then the first one, it says, Jennifer Hudson is a singer. She's acted in several films. How can we combine the first one? Uh, we can say who? Who? Okay, can you give me the whole sentence? She, it's a singer who acts in- Jennifer Hudson. Hudson is mm -hmm. a singer who is acted in several films. Okay, is this a sentence correct? Jennifer Hudson is a singer who is acted in several films. Yes. Okay, in this case, she's acted in several films. This one, she, she is, is not she is. This one is she has. She has. She has. Who has acted in several films. So that's the correct one. Perfect. Let's see number two. The Phantom of the Opera is based on a French novel. It was published in 1911. How can I transform this? How can I join these ones in number two? Phantom of the Opera is based on French novel, which mm -hmm. which was published in nineteen eighteen eleven. Sorry, in nineteen eleven. Very good, perfect. The Phantom of the Opera is based on a French novel, which was published in 1911. Let's see, number three, Spider-Man and Transformers are successful franchises. They are adapted from comic books. Spider-Man mm -hmm. 
performers are successful franchise. Como, how do you say franchise? Franchises. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, who, who? 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 Why who? Spider-Man Transformers are, are, we are talking about franchises, we are talking about movies, or we are talking about people? Which? Franchises. Franchises. Which? Which, right, exactly. Franchises, which, uh huh. Which were adapted. Uh huh. From comic books. From comic books. Very good. From comic books. Very good. Jaime, choose one person to participate, please. Okay. Uh, Noe. Noe. Okay, give me number four, Noe. Michael Keaton is a famous Hollywood actor, period. He began his career as a cameraman. Uh, Michael Keaton um, is a famous, uh, famous Hollywood uh -huh. who actor, who actor, he mm -hmm. began. Who? Who? Um, actor. He began. Bian. So, uh, Michael Keaton is a famous Hollywood actor. Who and after who? What do I write? Has, has begun. Has, has begun. begun? Why okay. has begun? ¿Por qué le pongo has begun? Why? Because the is the person. Yes, has. but where, where is where is has in this sentence? He began his career as a cameraman. Where is that? ¿Dónde está has aquí en esta oración? Where is has? Has the verb. It says he began. Ah, okay, okay. Es, uh -huh. es he, he, es él. Is sus. Uh-huh. Who? Began. After who? Began. Uh-huh. Began. Mm -hmm. As a... No sé, no lo logro ver bien, teacher. Sorry, yes, yeah, sorry. Let's see if I can do something about it. Déjenme ver si lo puedo aquí. Pero ese es... Uh... Sorry, as a cameraman. Yes, as a cameraman, exactly. Mm -hmm. Sorry, as a cameraman. Sorry. Perfect, perfect. Noé, choose someone else, please. Sandra Cecilia. Sandra Cecilia, are you there, Sandra? Yes. Yes, yeah. perfect. <laughs> number five. The number five. Uh-huh. Dakota Fanning is an actress who made her first, first movie when she was only seven years old. Very good, seven years old, perfect. Dakota Fanning is an actress who, who is the relative pronoun? right perfect who made her first movie when she was only seven years old okay cecilia choose another person so yes sandra cecilia choose another person eric eric are you there eric yes teacher okay number six okay uh, with it is a video game that help people to get a more exercise with it is a, vi a video game that? Which? Which, okay. Can I use okay. Can I use that if I, if I want to, Eric? Again? Can I use that instead of which if I want to? Mm, yeah, because both we can use for thing. 
Exactly. We can use for things also that, right? So very good. Perfect. So Wii Fit is a video game which helps people to get more exercise. Eric, choose but someone it, else. Uh -huh. but, teacher, sorry, but in that, that exercise, we can use, use that. Yes. Instead of which, you told me, right, that I can use that, right? Oh, Wii yeah. Fit is a video game that helps people to get more exercise. Yes. Eric, okay. choose someone else. The last uh, one. Okay, let me see. Uh, Jose Ramirez, ya pasó. Okay. Jose Ramirez, go ahead, Jose Ramirez. Is number seven. Number seven. Are you able to read it? ¿Lo puede leer? Uh, no, I can't. Let me see here. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Stephanie Mayer. Stephanie Mayer is an American writer. She wrote the Twilight. Twilight, the Twilight series. series, exactly. Okay. Um, Stephanie Mayer. Uh, um, oh, the Twilight. Okay, Stephanie Mayer. Uh -huh. uh, um, we can use here the passive voice. Um, we can use it, but uh, you can uh, you can do it just combining two sentences. Okay, it is it is okay. not needed. It is not needed. Okay. Um, Stephanie Mayer is an American writer who wrote the Twilight Twilight series. Very good. Perfect. Can I use that in that sentence, Jose, instead of who? Can I use that? Um, Can I say mm -hmm. Stephanie Mayer is an American writer that wrote the Twilight series? Yes or no? Uh, or only who? Um, mm, we can use that. We can use that also, right? Exactly. We can use that and that will be correct. We can use who or we can use that. Perfect. Stephanie Mayer is an American writer who or that wrote the Twilight series. Perfect. Finally, I guess that we still have time. Um, We're going to have a listening practice just for you to listen um, an opinion, okay? We are going to listen to two critics, Nicole and Anthony. They are going to talk about a new movie. Check the movie of the feature that they discuss. There are two extra features, okay? So we are going to do this exercise for you to, to understand how they critique and how they provide the opinion about one movie. So you can have an example and you can do it on Monday. Esto lo van a poder tomar como ejemplo, ¿verdad? Para la tarea que tienen el lunes. So le, let's listen to two credits uh, right now. Let's see here. Just let me open, open the web page. And we almost finished, okay? So don't worry, we almost Unit finished. Unit 13. Are you able to listen? Yes. Yes, yes perfect. Okay, we almost finished, okay? So no worries. I just wanted to finish with these activities for you to have the tools to provide a good presentation for Monday. Let's see here. This is just pronunciation. Yes, I guess it's after this, exactly. Okay, we are going to listen to two critics. What we are going to do here is just to check, right? About acting, story, writing, music, love story, special effects. What is Nicole's opinion? And what is Anthony's opinion about acting, story, writing, music, love story, and special effects? So this is just for listening because on Monday you're going to speak, okay? Okay. Page 90, exercise 12. Listening at the movies, part A. Listen to two critics, Nicole and Anthony, talk about a new movie. Check the features of the movie that they discuss. There are two extra features. Welcome to At The Movies. I'm Nicole Reeves. And I'm Anthony Hale. Good evening. 
Tonight, we're going to review the new James Bond film. Well, I really liked this new James Bond actor very, very much. Mm-hmm. He's the best actor that's ever had the role. Warm, human, even funny. A totally believable character. I have to agree. A perfect 007 type. Nicole, what did you think of the story? It was the standard Bond movie that has the usual beautiful women, the usual evil villain, nothing new. Well, I'm surprised. I have to say that I thought the story was unusually good. The race car scenes were exciting, and the surprise ending was great. Well, I can't agree with you there. I thought the story was pretty obvious, and I wasn't surprised at all by that twist at the end. Really? What did you think about the music? I was impressed by the music. It was the classic James Bond theme with a modern twist. I couldn't agree more. I haven't heard such interesting music in a movie in a long time. It really added to the action scenes. Yes, but unfortunately, that brings up a weakness in the film for me. The special effects. Again, it's just the same old stuff. The car that flies, the pen that's really a gun. You get tired of that kind of thing. Nicole, I have to disagree with you there. I have to say that the special effects were the best that I've ever seen in a Bond film. So, Anthony, overall, how do you rate this new James Bond movie? Well, Nicole, I'd have to say that I'm proud to give this movie my highest rating, four stars. And I would like to encourage everyone to go and see it. How about you, Nicole? You did like the new actor who plays James Bond. That part's true, Anthony. However, I have to give the movie only two stars, a rating of fair. Hmm. Well, that's all from us tonight. See you next week. Okay, perfect. Do you want to listen to it again? Yes, teacher, please. Yes, okay, remember. Yes, yes. okay, perfect. So you just need to check uh, what they talk about. If they talk about the acting, what they think about the acting. Also, the story, writing, music, love story, and special effects, okay? Let's listen to it again. Just let me one moment, please. Let me move this. Okay. Page 90. Exercise 12. Listening. At the movies. Part A. Listen to two critics, Nicole and Anthony, talk about a new movie. Check the features of the movie that they discuss. There are two extra features. Welcome to At The Movies. I'm Nicole Reeves. And I'm Anthony Hale. Good evening. Tonight, we're going to review the new James Bond film. Well, I really liked this new James Bond actor very, very much. Mm-hmm. He's the best actor that's ever had the role. Warm, human, even funny. A totally believable character. I have to agree. A perfect 007 type. Nicole, what did you think of the story? It was the standard Bond movie that has the usual beautiful women, the usual evil villain, nothing new. Well, I'm surprised. I have to say that I thought the story was unusually good. The race car scenes were exciting, and the surprise ending was great. Well, I can't agree with you there. I thought the story was pretty obvious, and I wasn't surprised at all by that twist at the end. Really? What did you think about the music? I was impressed by the music. It was the classic James Bond theme with a modern twist. I couldn't agree more. I haven't heard such interesting music in a movie in a long time. It really added to the action scenes. Yes, but unfortunately, that brings up a weakness in the film for me. The special effects. Again, it's just the same old stuff. The car that flies, the pen that's really a gun. You get tired of that kind of thing. Nicole, I have to disagree with you there. I have to say that the special effects were the best that I've ever seen in a Bond film. So, Anthony, overall, how do you rate this new James Bond movie? 
Well, Nicole, I'd have to say that I'm proud to give this movie my highest rating, four stars. And I would like to encourage everyone to go and see it. How about you, Nicole? You did like the new actor who plays James Bond. That part's true, Anthony. However, I have to give the movie only two stars, a rating of fair. Hmm. Well, that's all from us tonight. See you next week. Okay, perfect. Now let's see what happened with uh, the movie, right? What was the movie? What was the name of the movie? Well, not the name, but what was the movie about? James Bond. James A James Bond. Bond movie. Perfect. And did they mention the acting? Yes or no? Did they yes. mention the acting? Yes, right. They talked about the acting. What did they say about it? ¿Qué dijeron de la actuación? What did they say about the acting? Mm -hmm. It was good. It was bad. She, good, good. she loved the, the acting. And she said that is funny. And I don't remember, but it's great for her. Okay, exactly. It was great for her. It was a perfect 007. What does it mean, 007? She said 007. What does it mean that? Mm, with license to kill. License to kill. Yeah, 007 is 007, right? In English, double O, double zero, right? Double O, seven, right? 007, very good. And they mentioned the acting. They said it was fun. It was human. Very good. They, did they mention the story? Yes or no? Mm, yes. Yes. yes, what did they say about this story? What did they say? Um, the story, uh, can she say is um, boring? It was kind of boring, right? It was like the usual story, the same villain. And what did he say? It was good for him or it was not that good? Uh, for him, mm -hmm. yes. For yes. Anthony, it was good, right? Was a yes. was a surprising ending. Very good. Did they talk about writing the writing of the movie? No. No, no. right. They didn't mention that. Perfect. Did they mention the music? Yes. 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 yes right. What did they say about the music? Uh, Nicole's opinion was, is that a great music. Was a great music. Exactly. Very good. They mentioned uh, the love story. Did they mention that? Mm, no. No, right. They didn't mention the love story. Perfect. And did they mention the special effects? Yes. 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 What did they say about the special effects? Fly mm. car. <laughs> Fly <laughs> car. Like, the pen was a gun, right? The pen was a gun. What else? Um... Nicole's, they, she, what, what, what was Nicole's opinion about uh, the special effects? They were good or they were bad? They were uh, bad. They were bad, bad special effects, right? And Anthony's opinion, what was Anthony's opinion? Good special mm -hmm. effects. Good special effects in the James Bond movie. And how many stars did Anthony provide to the movie? How many stars? Four stars. Four, Four stars. And Nicole? Two stars. Two stars. Two stars. Like, so sorry. Right? She didn't like it that much, the, that James Bond movie. Perfect. So that's what I want you to do in on Monday, right? Look for a movie and try to provide your opinion. Van a hacer un review, a movie review on Monday, okay? So you can do that. I don't know if you have any question right now about the topic that we studied today, about the relative clauses or relative pronouns. Preguntas? Questions? No. No. Okay, perfect. Do you have questions about the platform? Preguntas de la plataforma? Yes, teacher. I have a problem uh -huh. with one answer Which? in the mid middle. In the, in the part, yes, meter test in the part B. Part B, meter exam. Okay, let's see. What is the problem that you have there? Uh, in the num number three. 
letter A, B, C. And letter um, B. B, uh huh. And the first part in the number three. Number three. Ian Fleming yes. wrote the James Bond novels. Talking about James Bond, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Uh, the answer, we answered this yesterday. It says the James Bond novels were yeah. written by mm. Ian Fleming. It's in passive voice, right? Both passive, mm. right? Okay. We're rich. Okay, teacher. Another okay. question? Thank you, teacher. No problem, Carla. Another question? No more no, questions? No, it's only. Okay. No questions. Okay, so I wish you to have a very good weekend. Uh, take uh, a little bit of a vacation on, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I will see you on Monday, okay? Lo voy a ver el lunes, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, Yes. Uh, you share the, that information? The presentation? This presentation? Uh, yes. The presentation. Yes. I will send you the presentation uh, to the group and you can get all this information, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, you're very welcome. So have a nice evening and take care, okay? I will see you on Monday. Uh, see you on Monday, teacher. Okay, thank you. Bye, thank you for coming. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye.